Eduardo, this is one of my favorite producers of Pinot Noir. I know. <laughs> yeah. So this is the 2019 Dragonette Pinot Noir. This is from Radian Vineyard in Santa Rita Hills. And this site is so unique. It's about, you know, nine miles from the coast. You can see the ocean. It's about 800 feet in elevation, but it's one of just the most extreme sites you can possibly visit. So Radian Vineyard sits um, in what was formerly known as Rancho Sasapuedas, oh, yeah. which loosely translates to get out while you can. Yes. <laughs> because if you can. <laughs> if you can. Because it is it is so extreme and rugged and mm -hmm. difficult to farm, but that difficulty is what brings so much beauty to the glass because the site is so unique. That is a gorgeous wine. It really, I mean, very well made. I know Brandon does an incredible job. We've uh, yes. done a few things with them, and I, I, I love what he does. And with the pristine vineyard source, exactly, yeah, it's, it's one of the coolest vineyard sites in all of Santa Rita Hills. But you really? don't get um, a lean quality from this. So you get that freshness, but it does have a lot of sort of voluptuous, sort mm. of voluminous quality on the palate. And uh, you know, the site um, it has this certain type of soil called diatomaceous earth, uh -huh. which is sort of similar to other um, regions you might know, like the chalky soils of Champagne or in Hedda. Really? Yes. And so you'll see these sort of large rocks that look like they should be really, really heavy. And you mm -hmm. pick them up and they're light as a feather. It's this sort of ancient seabed oh, wow. that is dried and you can actually use it like chalk. Oh, really? <laughs> In so fact, like... at, at Dragonette, you know, oh. winemakers will often make notes on the barrels, you know, mm -hmm. notes about what, you know, the last time they racked the wine, etc. And so they'll literally just use those rocks instead of, <laughs> instead of chalk wow. to mark the barrels. Wow, I really... I transfer that into the into the palette that's yeah absolutely and beautiful. you know small production you know we mentioned brandon sparks gillis and his, and his partners there they're mm -hmm. hands-on you know in the vineyard every day um making the wine themselves so when i think about something really special to uh -huh. share with people this is this is what Gorgeous. i think of yeah beautiful wine it just draws you in mm -hmm. really pretty and i know you enjoy this wine often what do you like to enjoy it with so I like to ma I like sal I make a lot of salmon. So I love this with mm. a, just a beautiful like roast salmon with like some fennel and fresh herbs. Beautiful, <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. What would you pair it with? Oh my God. Well, I mean, I would start there certainly, but also you can do something simple like um, I don't know, roasted turkey sandwich for lunch, <laughs> or like <laughs> go and take a picnic and sit <laughs> in the coast and enjoy yeah. it with this, and yeah, call it a day. Honestly, it, to me, it's so complex. You could just enjoy it by itself. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful wine. I'm so glad you brought this. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.